Hello and welcome back. So let's get started with our project development right now. So the first thing that I'm going to do here in this video is I'm going to create my controller. So as you know, my controller will be a servlet. So it's time to go ahead and build our controller servlet for our project. All right. So let's get started and let's switch to Eclipse. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm inside my Eclipse here and the first task will be to create a dynamic web project. So here I'm going to give my project name as food cat. And I'm going to hit next here. And I'm going to hit next here again. And I'm going to hit this box generate web.xml deployment descriptor so that it will generate the web.xml file for me. So here I'm going to click finish, right? So as you can see right now, I got a project here called foodcat. So let me expand it and let me go to Java resources. And here inside the SRC folder, first of all, I'm going to create a new package. So let me click new and package. And here my package name will be com.seleniumexpress.foodcat because foodcat is going to be my application name. Let me hit finish here and I got my project. And the next thing will be I'm going to create my controller servlet. So my controller will be a servlet. So let me hit servlet here and my class name will be food cat. Okay. And let me hit next. So I'm happy with the URL mapping. No worries with that. So I'm going to click next here. And I don't want a constructor, so let me uncheck this box. And I don't want the do post method. I although all I need is do a do get method over here. And let me hit finish. So this is going to cre uh, going to create a basic uh, servlet for me. So let me expand it for a bit. And there we go. All right. So let me remove all this auto generated code. I don't need it for this project. And let me zoom it in a bit so that you can see it properly. So let me clear these things up so that you'll get a nice little clean view here. All right, so already. So the next thing over here is, uh, so what my controller servlet is going to do. All right, so right now I have a servlet, which is foodcat, and this foodcat is going to work as a controller for me, all right? Okay, so what my controller is going to do over here. So if you see this diagram here, then we have already created this controller for our project, whose name is foodcat. So now this controller is going to talk to the model and get the data back from the model. And once it's get the data, it is going to process those data to our view or to our JSP page. So in this video, let me only concentrate with our controller and our view, which will be a JSP page. So once we are done with this thing, I'm going to bring this guy, this model into the picture. All right. All right. So we got to know what our controller is going to do. So first of all, our controller is going to get the data from the database. So this database is going to be our model. And the second thing it is going to do, it is going to redirect to a different page i mean it is going to redirect to a view all right so the first thing that i'm going to do over here let's concentrate with this particular part well let's first uh, you know develop the code for this particular part okay so and after that we are going to get into this okay so how to redirect to a different page from a servlet so to do that i'm going to make use of the request dispatcher so i'm going to type in request dot get dispatcher and I am going to keep the actual page name that I want to redirect to. So in this case, it's going to show food.jsp. Don't worry, we are going to create this page in a bit. And let me handle its written type. So I'm going to use uh, request dispatcher. I'm going to hit control space. So request dispatcher. and dispatcher so now let me do a dispatcher 
dot forward I'm going to forward this page I'm gonna make use of request and response here all right so now I'm done with this so what is going to happen once the controller does its task I mean once the controller completed its task it is going to redirect uh, to this particular page called showfood.jsp uh, so if I'm going to run this application right now it is going to give me a 404 error the reason for that is I don't have a page called showfood.jsp so let me go ahead and create this page called showfood.jsp so this is going to be my tax number two where I'm going to create my view and just to remind you our view is going to a JSP page so let me go ahead and let me create this view for you so here let me open the project explorer and let me go to this web content and and in this web content I'll do a right click I'll I'll create a new JSP file and here I'm going to name this JSP file as show food dot JSP okay make sure that you know this name and this name match the same and I'm going to click next and I'm going to click uh, finish here all right so this is this will just give me a basic JSP file over here so let me zoom it a bit and let me change this title to something uh, menu all right and here in this body right now I'm not going to write any code over here I'm just going to type these things in a uh, just little paragraph here or a little text here uh, let's say it items let's say food items coming soon <laughs> just to verify okay our our JSP page is working fine okay okay so right now let's run our project okay so this is my servlet so let me do a right click here and let me go to run as and run on server okay so I'm gonna click yes over here and I'm gonna hit next and finish so make sure that you have already configured Tomcat with your Eclipse alright alright so as you can see over here as the output we got our JSP page and whatever we have written in our JSP page we are just getting that as output so in our case we are just getting food items coming soon because we just have written these things in our JSP page so what is happening over here whenever a request comes in to our controller servlet our controller servlet is redirecting it to a different JSP page here in this case this is showfood.jsp and we are getting that in our output all right all right so now let's go ahead and let's concentrate on this part okay so before we process I mean before we redirect to a different JSP page we just need to you know set some data with our request object okay so what I mean by that so we need to get the data from the database and we need to uh, I mean set this particular data with our request object and then we're going to redirect to a different uh, JSP page So right now I'm not going to make use of the database over here instead let me just create a string array here uh, uh, let's say it food items and let's just have some food items over here um, let's say biryani because it's my favorite I can write pizza here and I can write uh, chicken lollipop and something like this okay so so this is uh, let's let's think that you know this is some kind of data that I do have over here so let me stop it otherwise it's gonna always rerun it okay so right now I am going to send this data over here uh, to my JSP page so how to do that so for that I'm going to make use of my request object so request dot set attribute and here I'm gonna say this as food items and 
I'm just going to put this thing. I'm going to just going to put this array over here, and I'm done with it. And once I'm done with it, I'm just forwarding the thing to a different JSP page, isn't it? So right now, all the data will come to our JSP page. So here it is our responsibility to get those data over here and uh, to show it to the user. Okay, so how can we do that? So for doing that, I'm going to make use of the JSTL over here. Why? Because we are getting everything as an array. We're going to get this piece of data over here as an array. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of data over here. So I just need to loop over everything and we need to display it to our users. So how to do that? So for doing that, I'm going to make use of JSTL. So first of all, uh, let me bring my JSTL jar uh, I mean to my project. All right, so here I have already downloaded these two jar over here uh, Java X .jsp .jstl and uh, JSTL API. These two particular jar you just need to put it into your uh, project build path. All right, uh, so what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to copy this thing and I'm going to uh, expand this web app over here and I'm going to paste it inside my leaf okay so in my leaf right now you can see these two jar here okay all right so the next thing that I'm going to do over here is before I'm going to make use of the JSTL stops over here I just need to put the URI isn't it so tag leap I'm going to make use of the prefix C. C stands for core, and the URI will be http colon double slash java dot sun dot com slash jsp slash jstl slash core. All right, so right now I can make use of my jstl over here. So let me get rid of this particular text because we just have written it for our testing purpose. So right now I can make use of C colon for each. So I'm going to make use of this because I'm going to loop over my array. Okay. So here, first of all, I'm going to take this items here and my items is going to be this food items, right? So let me copy this because this is what I'm sending to my JSP page. So let me paste it over here and let me put the dollar and let me put this inside this curly braces okay and i'm going to make use of a variable here just to store my put items so i'll say it as items here and that's it and the last thing that i'm going to do over here that i'm going to print this items here and I'm going to make use of my JSP expression and I'm just going to print this thing. Okay, so make sure this items you are putting it over here. Okay, just to make sure I just copy and paste it and that's it. So I'm just making use of a JSTL for each tag just to loop over this particular array. Okay, put items because I'm getting uh, items as an array. I'm getting too much things over here in my JSP page. I'm just looping over it. And I'm going to print each items uh, into my uh, view or into my uh, user output. Okay, whatever you can say that. So the next thing is I'm going to run it once again. So I'm just going to open my uh, server over here and I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to hit run as and run on server. So next and finish. And there we go. So we're getting all our data over here, biryani, pizza, chicken lollipop, because this is what we are sending over here to our JSP page. All right, so right now we have a kind of understanding that how to, uh, you know, send data to a JSP page. So here we are setting the data, and once we are uh, done with it, we are just sending it to a JSP page, and inside the JSP page, we are just looping over the items, right? So very simple, very straightforward. So, okay, so this is what I want to do in this particular tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm just going to get rid of these things uh, because these things I have used just to show you 
how to send data I mean how to set the data and how to send it to a JSP page so in the next tutorial we'll actually get into our model we're going to talk to the model we're going to get the data from our database and after that we're going to send this data to our JSP page and we'll make use of JSTL to view the data to the user all right so I'll see you in the next tutorial so if you have any doubt post it in the comment section or write a mail to me at uh, selenium express at the rate gmail.com so that I can assist you regarding that all right so thank you very much for watching guys so I'll see you in the next tutorial till then bye bye and happy coding